Hi everyone. Uh, sorry we didn't get a chance to update you while we were in uh, Chicago. Things were a little bit crazy and uh, the drive itself was bad, but the uh, testing was uh, crazy and it was a busy uh, two and a half days that we were there. I just uh, want to start today by thanking uh, another young girl, uh, Christina El Khoury. Uh, from Ottawa. Her mom works for Mothercraft, which is a child care agency out of Ottawa. My stepmother Joanne worked there for years and uh, Christina heard about her story and wanted to help and she made bracelets and sold them and uh, made over a hundred dollars and added that to a donation that we received from Mothercraft. Uh, so thank you Christina. And I hope that uh, once things settle down a bit, we can get up to Ottawa and meet you. Uh, but I'll get into the Chicago now. Uh, I'm sure everybody's wanting to hear how things went. And, uh, you know, I'm, I just have to tell you that I, I know no one thinks this way, but I've sort of been feeling a bit of an overwhelming uh, pressure to do well and hope that I pass the assessment and you know I know that it's uh, completely out of our control but I just feel that way and so anyway I, I've been quite nervous and uh, hope that things go well but uh, so far we uh, had a bit of a testy drive getting there I'm sure everyone heard about the storm in Buffalo and it was a little uh, dicey for our drive as well I'm really glad that we uh, broke it up stopped in uh, Flint and uh, we're here again now it's about uh, six o'clock Friday night and uh, it was a bit of a hectic drive I'm glad that uh, we got there all right but uh, as for Chicago Northwestern Hospital uh, it was beautiful unbelievable compared to what we're used to seeing uh, it's like walking into a beautiful hotel or office tower I think it takes up two city blocks by two city blocks. Uh, I don't even know how many buildings there are. We were in three of them. Skywalks going building to building. Uh, it was <laughs> something to see. There are waiting rooms. You you have private waiting areas with your own TV. and uh, Incredible. <clears throat> but I guess that's what they pay for down there. So, uh, But uh, everyone was friendly and uh, very nice. And we found the city great. And... Uh, service was fantastic, friendly. Uh, I actually thought Chicago was beautiful, what we saw of it anyway. Uh, but uh, into the testing, it was 12 hours on the Wednesday. Uh, we were there on the Thursday for 6.30 a.m. and we got out of there around 2.33 in the afternoon. Uh, and we had a chance to meet with uh, some doctors on Thursday. Uh, first a cardiologist. He had said that uh, <coughs> there was a slight murmur that showed up on the EKG and echo and stress echo. And uh, he wasn't very concerned, but he said there was something there. And he hadn't received the results from the MRI yet. Uh, then we met with Dr. Burt that, later that afternoon, Thursday afternoon. And he had had a chance to look at the MRI, and he was quite concerned told us that uh, there was a murmur and that uh, he was concerned about uh, there being a lot of stress on one of the valves in my heart, which we were totally unaware of. And uh, he was a little upset that uh, no one had performed an MRI on us in Canada and sent the results back with us. But uh, regardless, the MRI was about an hour and a half. I was in the chamber. It was that was the first time I had gone through that test, and uh, it's different, that's for sure. But uh, he said he needed the results from the cardio cath, which was today, and uh, to speak with the cardiologist, and uh, they would make a decision next week, and we would hear Wednesday. So today we went through with the cardio cath, uh, which again was uh, different. I have never gone through one before, but... Uh, we opted not to take the sedative 
and uh, that way we could shave two hours off of the procedure and try and get out of there and make our way to Flint again. Uh, but they go in through your jugular and uh, feed everything down and into your heart. And uh, right away he had said that, uh, you know, he thought that things looked okay and he was going to go ahead with the full work up and do a fluid pressure test as well. So that was good news. And then they pump a liter of fluid into you and work it all through your heart and do a bunch of testing and it's, uh, they give you a little local in the neck, but other than that, you're awake and alert for it all. So it's a little, it was very different, that's for sure. Uh, well, Ruddle appreciated it. It was nothing like uh, having a chest tube or anything. The pain wasn't bad, but uh, it was not a great feeling either. Uh, so went through that, and once we were done, the doctor said uh, that was performing this procedure that he thought it looked pretty good, and he said, uh, yes, there was stress under pressure, but that anyone would show stress under that kind of pressure. So, And he said he looked at the other results in the MRI and thought that it wasn't really that bad. So we're hoping uh, Wednesday will be good news. But, you know, Dr. Burt sort of told us, you know, be prepared. It could be uh, bad news as well. So... But anyway, I just wanted to update everyone, and we're uh, just getting here, and I wanted to try and get this done and get it out and uh, give everyone a quick update, and we will try and relax and uh, have a bite to eat and get some sleep tonight and uh, get home to see our little, little monkey man tomorrow. So thank you again, everyone, and, uh, you know, support and the hopes and well wishes and prayers have been pushing us through this and you know we need all you've got until uh, we get the news Wednesday so thanks again and we'll uh, talk to you soon